This is something I wrote for the Supermodel Arcade emulator. It's basically proper quadratic interpolation. So instead of triangles, we can natively render quads. Here's just one quick example. Just a, a quad or a square, each side the same length, 90 degrees. Four different colors to get this a really nice result. Rendered as triangles, it just looks a complete mess. But you can see the, the split going this way. So we've got one triangle here, second triangle here. If I change the split, so instead of going top left to bottom right, it goes the other way around, the result is completely different. The situation is not quite so ridiculous with textures. In fact, the result is the same. As long as the opposite ends are the same length, the result is pretty much the same. But as soon as that is no longer true, I'll squish it this way, you just get this ridiculous kink in the middle of it. In fact, it's pretty much impossible to make a quad fit fit properly when rendered as two triangles. The only way to do it is to actually subdivide up the quad into like many more triangles, and then you can kind of make it work, but it's not great. One thing we can do is with this method is it doesn't have to be planar. We can actually render any quad, any ridiculous shape and it just properly works. In fact, you can put the pretty much put the vertices anywhere without any problems. This is what it looks like as triangles. Completely different. This also depth depth tests correctly as it, as if it's a bow tie quad. There's a few pieces of uh, hardware in history which rendered quads. The Model 2, the Model 3, I think the Nintendo DS also rendered quads and they did something called a two-fold linear interpo interpolation. That's basically rendering left to right across the scan lines. But the problem with that is you get this crazy kink. I don't know if you can see it there. You get this like bend in the quads, so the, the interpolation works but it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit broken really. I know with the DS it doesn't support bow tie quads, so if you give it some really funky things to draw it just it just makes a complete mess of them. Anyway with with this method that I've made, you can pretty much do anything. There's no limitations. You can do trilinear filtering, anisotrophic filtering, it just all works. So it's pretty much a drop in replacement for for triangles. OpenGL does actually support quads, I say quads, but really what it does is it just splits and it's two triangles, so if you render quads in OpenGL, they look like this. 